Mr. Foot, you have a gift. One, ew. Two, no. Three, it's this cake. Enjoy. I don't know. Read the card. To my big hairy beast. Can't wait till you're out. Happy birthday, Mrs. Foot. Breaking news! Bigfoot recently imprisoned for attempting to murder pizza man Alessio Galetta is dead after attempting to have sex with a poisonous cake. Yes! The poison cake came from an unknown source but was delivered to Bigfoot's cell where he proceeded to stick his tiny little dick in only to have poison shoot up his miniature cock veins. Batman doesn't kill people. Well, uh, Dama De Luisa does. Uh, <laughs> 600 likes on the video, and in next week's episode, things will get even weirder in this intro series, if that's humanly possible. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Murta. Welcome back to NASCAR 15 season. This is my first recording back since my vacation. I gotta remember how to do this. I also gotta try to remember what in the world happened the last time we did this. Last time out at Kansas, we had a caution-free race. No, 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 don't leave, don't change the channel. We got some good, good happening here. We got tight points battles happening. You know what? We're not locked in. I just realized we're not locked into the next round yet. In the last two races combined, we have had one whole caution, and that one whole caution was when I wall popped there at the Charlottes. Kids was green flag, start to finish. The only thing that kind of was a little funkadelic about that race, where there should have been a yellow, was when that ragu was driving through the infield grass trying to kill people. We were lucky enough to avoid that. We had a fast car. We were running down the leaders right there at the end, but we ran out of time. We needed a bit more better of a pit stop. That would have helped us. We could have won that. Ended up in third. Though we haven't won and locked ourselves into the round of eight, we're still sitting pretty damn good. Sitting atop the leaderboard with 30, 85. Let's check where that cut line is. So the cut is none of these. It's Vicks Vapor Rob. He's the last guy out at the moment. So we have 41 points up on the cut line. That is very good. You can only make up 47 points in a singular race. Welcome to the squad, Storn Haas Racing. So if you look at that cutoff, let's check some of these other drivers. Redneck Jesus with 30, 81. That's 7, 37 points. He's up on the guy. He's all right. Jamahir just won Kansas. He's locked into the next round. He's all right. 27 points for Bushy. Also very good. Then it starts to get a little bit close. If you're under 20 points with that cut, there's a chance you could be eliminated. Especially at the Talent Aches where you can run in the back and the other guy can run all the way at the the front just in a matter of a lap. And any one of them could win this damn race. Some of them, a couple of them need to in order to transfer through. It's up for grabs, wide open. Who's gonna make it through to the next round? Go to the comments. Leave the four drivers you think are getting eliminated here today at the end of the talent eggs. This is my paint scheme for the day. But I gotta let you guys know in on something. Murph Turd 2, designer of all these paint schemes that we've been rocking, has opened a contest. Link to my discord is down in the description go and join up on that go to the announcements tab and you will see the announcement for the contest for the phoenix race coming up in a few weeks the race before the finale at the miamis y'all have the opportunity to design me a paint scheme that i will rerun rerun in that phoenix race i'm going to choose a winner and that's the scheme i'm going to run all the details are there in the announcements made but this is all set up by murph turn two so shout once again to my boy Murph Turd 2. Thank you for setting this up. It is very cool. We got some very good submissions so far. It's all on PC. Make your PC schemes. Submit them to me on there and I will I'm gonna pick one. For Phoenix, there is only one track that leaves you lying in bed, shaking and quivering at night. Gives you a quiver that you can feel up in the tops of your hair, on the head, all the way down to the bottom of your penis. If you don't have a penis, well, we won't get into that. This track was built on a Native American burial ground, so they say, and also, there was one time where a race fan stole the pace car here. A lot of weird shit happened. Happen. Some say that the track is cursed. I believe this to be true because when I went there, I lost 
my $50 bill. Turns out it was just stolen from me as I was pickpocketed down on Talladega Boulevard. Yes, the track is Talladega, or Talladega, if you pronounce it like me, an imbecile. Race cars do not typically come back from this place in one piece. It is a team owner's worst nightmare, and because I am now a team owner myself in this series, I am ruining the day we arrive at the track. Well, that day is today, my friends. Four drivers will have their championship hopes dashed. Let's find out who those four drivers are. Let's hope to God it's not us. Let's get the video started. Let's go! I can tell that I haven't done this in a while. My vacation has been over a week since I've recorded. My throat it's, it, it's like I just downed 30 dick. Welcome to Talladega, Alabama for the only restrictor plate race in the chase, the Good Sam Club 500. Mike, it's kind of a wild card race. It's the Lotto 500. These guys say when you come here, you're just gambling. You've got to be lucky to get out of here with a good finish, and that's what most of these guys are going to be looking for, a good finish. Do you need a good partner, Daryl, or the right place in the pack? No fun to dance alone. Got to have somebody to dance with. These high-speed restrictor plate races are among the most unpredictable because the winner can come from deep in the pack if, as you say, he gets the right partner. 500 miles of holding your breath, ready to go at the fastest speedway on Earth. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Come on, buddy, give me a show. Let's go racing, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl. Here we are at the Talladegs, eliminating four drivers today. The 20, the 21, the 41, and the 55 all need great days if they are going to pull themselves out from the bottom of these playoffs. The 41's on the pole! Who will win it? Run away at the Tonics! I went for a shortened amount of laps to up the ante, up the stressfulness, out of the way! You! I completely forgot his name. I haven't recorded it in a week. It could have been 38 laps. I think we typically do 38 laps, but I went with 28. Just to tighten the screws, you got less opportunity. You can't fuck up! My throat is killed. All right, so this is how it always goes when I take a vacation. I forget how to, like, control my voice and the yelling and the excitement. And when I come back, I go over the top, overboard, and I'm not going to be able to speak the rest of the day. Ooh. We qualified in 24th, not too shabby. I made it into the next round in the qualifying session, but I see what I did was I bump drafted a bit too much in round one and that damaged my engine and I wasn't able to contend in the round two. Jemai ain't got nothing to worry about. He won the K's ass, so we don't gotta worry about bump drafting him today. Redneck Jesus, he got robbed at the K's ass. He was very, very good, but got passed right at the end by his teammate. Steve Harvey, you've had your chance in the spotlight. You're retiring. See you later. Yeah. Headed to the back. Give Young one of these whippersnappers an opportunity to shine like the Danica. Hey, you two, get a room. I do not need to see the Danica and Ricky getting frisky up in the top five. We're headed for the lead. Hey, hey, where, where are you going? Give me the bump trap. Come on, you don't want to see Outback Sten out. We'll all be dead if we let him lead too much. And be throwing those damn dirty blocks. And Carlos will be winding up in the grandstand. To be fair to Ricky, though, I'm probably going to be throwing some damn dirty blocks of my own. There'll be an accident. Caused by me. Probably sometime soon. Because I feel like I haven't gotten to lead. Hey! I know you haven't won in a while. But calm the fuck down. I haven't got to lead much in this season, really. It feels like there hasn't been a whole lot going on for us when it comes to winning and leading laps in a few months now. Yeah, we've been running better, dominating Wild races. Time. We don't do that anymore. Right. I would like to start to do that Hello. again, being that it's a very important right. time of the year and we got the championship race coming up. I'd Wild like to time. contend for that. I want to win this championship. They three wide behind me, man. And all three of them cars have fours in their numbers. Does that mean something? I do not know how long I can hold all these blocks off for. Mikey friggin' Walnuts, man. Remember when he was in contention for making these playoffs? 
Look at him now. If he would have just made it to the second round. Ah, oh, scratch that. He never would have made it to the second round. So you got some cars that have already lost the draft. It makes you wonder, is it anybody of sustenance? Anybody that needs to be running up the front that isn't right now because they've lost the draft. They don't have a ton of time. We're coming to the quarter distance mark of this oh, race sorry. next time, by. That's what I wanted. You had to be You're on right. it from the word green flag. You had to be going from the start. Oh, losing the draft already? Maybe you shouldn't be in the next round of the playoffs if you're back there. No! 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 Okay, down. Yeah, I took out. engine oh, damage. Like a lot of freaking engine damage. I didn't know he was up there! Spotter! You're fired! I have fired so many crew members this season. Wow! Yeah, we got a pit. We got a fixed engine. Quarter distance mark was not kind to me. I live on Indeed on, what's the other one? Zillow is where you buy a home. Zip Recruiter. I live on those apps because I'm constantly looking for new hirees for me to berate. I never do anything wrong. Okay, let's get this stuff figured out. It's always their fault. Half the field pitted, half the They'll field the didn't the pit. Right. I think you could probably have figured that out on your own. There are some playoff people that did stay out okay, that go. are going to have up. to make a pit stop. Man, At some point, car. we can't make it this whole distance with what we have. I'm going to be damn careful that I do not lose the draft. Remember, I am not locked in. I have a 41-point cushion over the cut line, but it's not a guarantee that I make it through. We gotta be careful. We gotta have a solid run. I mean, I'm talking like, if we finish top 35, we'll be okay. And look at that. We're knocking on the door of the top 35. Vix Vapor Rob back here, the 55, not doing what he needs to be doing just yet. Luckily, we are in this mix. The 41 to the lead, but he is one of the guys that stayed out and we'll have to make a pit stop. I really desperately need like little chicklets above the cars that are people that are in championship contention. How am I supposed to remember 11 other car numbers? Really the only person that knows his true destiny is Chuba. He's the only one of us that doesn't have to feel any sense of pressure. Four wide, blank into the lead. Oh, Another guy that needs a really good day. Man, I cannot believe how badly I've blown out my voice. It's gonna be tough sledding the rest of the day after this video is over. Chef Boyardee, one day, short loop. He was in, but he got booped in the round of 16. He is so, he should be like challenging for the final four and he isn't. I'm willing to bet you that once the points like reset, after we eliminate another four people here today, that the 15, he's gonna like jump to the top of all those guys because he's just racking up points. Oh, where, ah! No, 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 they're four wide up behind me. I do not want to get all mixed up in that. When I get in the middle of these packs, that's when bad stuff, well, you know what? Bad stuff happens when I'm leading because of a dirty, dirty block. All right, your door, down low. Shit! That 13, no caution. No caution. That 13 Watch took off like a butterfly at springtime. Eat my balls. Are we good? That shit outside. stayed up Bring on the back. screen for so long. I don't even know who the hell it was that oh, I was supposed outside. to yield to. Well, 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 we got four drivers Still that just outside. think that they are the bee's knees and they're gonna drive off from everybody. Well, what I say to that is, no, we're coming back for your ass. Oh. That 13 did not give a single shit about my welfare, the 17's welfare. He didn't care if we'd end up on welfare because we couldn't go to work anymore, because all of the bones in our bodies were broken. The great irony of that whole situation was the 13 now has several hundred broken bones in his body. Oh, shit. I made it work. Hey, the 55 drove his way up here. Hey, I'm telling you, this shit, a lot of stuff changes at a moment's notice. 19 lost the draft of the top four. He back here with us now in the slums. Oh, shit. Oh, God, that feels... Oh, that feels pretty good.
All right. Everybody, you got your helmets on? Duck and, so we got it, we duck and cover. Welcome yo, yo, yo. to Michael Moves in his mid-race report. Presented by Gas Can Water. This is a first for, um, yeah, I just kind of drove right into him. Sorry about that. No, we're not going to pit here. We're going to stay out. A first for the Michael Moves' mid-race report presented by Gas Can Water. Me dumping a guy coming to the line at the halfway mark. I don't think that's ever been done before. I think that is a Eutechnic Saga first. We're running well. We've had a very solid race to yeah. this point. Yeah, we've okay. wrecked a guy. I've wrecked myself. My voice is gone. But we're fast. And we're doing what we need to do to make sure to right, ensure that we make it through door. to the next round of the playoffs. Here's the thing, though. I'm now looking at the amount of laps remaining, and there are 12 to go. We definitely have to make another pit stop before the end of it. To the people that just pitted, what the hell are you doing? What sort of shit am I getting in the middle of? What do you guys got beef? What the fuck just happened? What is your problem? Why are you driving out of my passenger door? I got in the middle of something, something dirty. Something happened, wow. Back in the pack that I wasn't aware of. I was a tomato sandwich without the tomatoes. Did I just see, wait a minute, was the 46 driving into my passenger door with the 95 bump drafting him into me? We got a lot of firsts happening here. On the high banks of the Talladegs. We got damage again. We got enough. We got to put in another motor. This is, though, we've had to do one after qualifying. After the last one, Stay two, the on three. The this is the fourth engine of the weekend. Well, now I got the fuel and the tires I need to make it the rest of the way. So it's only about 10 laps remaining. Our car is good. I don't know where this is going to put okay, us. I still am convinced that we can drive back to the front. I feel good about it. I think we can win this race. Just got to finish top 35, though. That's all that matters. I'm probably going to wreck again or I'm gonna end up wrecking somebody else. Let's see if either of those come true. I'm guaranteed both of them will. This has been Michael Moves' Mid-Race Sport, presented by Gas Can Water. Again, good here. chunk care, of the buddy. field pitted, probably around about half. Vix Vapor up. He needs to pull something out of his asshole. The 41 car is right there. He needs to do the same. I don't know where the 20 is. I don't know where the 21 is. Maybe they're up near the front. Maybe they can points their way in. Or maybe they can try to take this victory. Why is this line? This line is not moving. I think the 27 has some damages. He did it fixed. Yeah, yeah. It's all congested back here. Oh, get the, get the goddamn out of my way, you. You, you bloomin' onion, bitch! Well, we found the 21 car. Here he is, making it four wide. He knows he's gotta make something happen. Can I fill it? Can I fill the hole? I will gladly fill that hole. We are not going. Nobody is going. It's all so damn slow here. 46 is pitting along with the five car. All right, Katie Kate isn't in the playoffs. Nothing to worry about there. Somebody else did pit, though, behind us. I have no idea who that could have been. Now we're just riding. We're sitting where we need to be sitting in terms of the point standings. I still would like to make my way forwards, but we don't have to. We got to make sure not to put ourselves in a precarious position that might disallow us from moving on. I don't think I ever touched him. I think that was an over-dramatization. Six car just threw it down the pits for an absolutely unknown reason. 88 car, redneck Jesus to the lead. Yeah! It. There he goes. Probably not doing what he needs to do points-wise. I think there are a good number that still need to make pit stops. We're going to continue to see pit stops the rest of this race. Unless a yellow gets caused, and then they'll all pit. Oh, wow! It just pushed. Man, it pushed coming up out of that corner. I drove right into Jebedu. Check up. They're slowing down. They're slowing down. You better not cut me off. Man, this is getting tight. Oh, this is getting close. This 46 wide, car, even wide, for position, he left down. We back, baby. Jemai, Redneck G saw up here. The cream is rising. All right, Jemai, All right, I do right, not need you. to keep you up here. Oh, man, you, gonna wreck you. you do not Easy. need to stay. You Much have lady. moved through. So I'm going to pass you, nice and I'm going to pass you. Oh, it's McDouche. You know what? Done, I own the wreck, you bitch. 
for what you did to me in that live stream the other day where you wrecked me right at the end, but... I guess it doesn't really make a ton of sense to wreck you here for something you did in a live stream. Coming to five to go this time, trying to not get boxed in. The 47 is trying to... Oh my god! Any other inches in any other direction, that becomes a mass casualty. The booth, the Rogate Smith. Listen, I don't want to be involved in any more of your shenanigans. Five laps remain. There is a second war cluster way back. Is there playoff people back there? I'm willing to bet that at least one of those cars. Whoa! Yeah, one of those cars back there is a playoff guy. Don't get on me. Oh my god, you're so sexist. Playoff guy. The day the guy ain't in the fucking playoffs! Pull them off. Pull all that. Fight back, man. Fight back. We're just as fast as him. Let's chase him back down. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, dang! I could I really thought that I was gonna be clear. I thought that I was going so slow enough where they would just drive around by me. I did not. I thought they were gonna pop me in the ass. I, I, I know what it looks like. I know what it looks like. But I really thought I was going to be clear because of how slow I was going through that goddamn grass. That seven car, I'm going to stick a stick up his ass and I'm going to turn him into a puppet. We're in 40th. Okay, no, I don't need a pit. I'm not in 40th anymore, am I? Good, 18th. And the seven is right by, oh, great. I do not need to do that on the last lap and finish in the 40s and piss away my entire points lead and miss the next round. Okay, no more stupid blocks. Just get to the finish line. Here's a look at some more of the cars where everybody is sitting currently as we come to the checkered flag. Okay, I just saw Kaz it was up there. He's in like fourth, the 12 was up there, the 41, the 55 is here. This could shake things up. We're not in overtime yet, but it is a green-white checkered. Only two laps yeah, remain. Right. Will this outside line friggin' go? God, I hope so. Right. No, it ain't going. We're getting, we're, we're blocked in, we're cock blocked. I see a pretty gal at the bar and McDouche swooped in and stole her. Blanket has damage, he just, or just, no, was a terrible restart. Did not get going, that could be bad for Blanket. I think Blanket was so far behind, he really needed to win and it is not looking too, sh it, it, it's looking shabby for him. It's not looking good, it's looking bad. Where is that 14 car? He was right on the cut line with this 50. The 14 is right there. There was only five points separating the 55 and the 14, and they are they are not separated by very many positions. My I am trying to talk, but my voice is blown the fuck out. Who is it? We got the three? The three car is it in this shit? Ain't no goddamn way the three car ain't nothing. I hope somebody passes them. We don't want to see no three car winning nothing. Oh, come on, Redneck Jesus. Redneck Jesus and Tony the Tiger are locked together. I think that's, that's gonna screw the 55. The 55 cannot make it through. He's not in front of the 14. Here we go through the final quarter. We're out of turn. I am not going anywhere, man. I've got no drafting out. Coming down to the line, the three car is going to win. Are you shitting me? Flag. There's a few more spots we could have had that top 10. Maybe next time. That's kind of, that's kind of disgusting. That's kind of disappointing. 12th, I really thought we had a lot more than a 12th in us today. I just, nobody decided to go with me. I guess, you know what, it doesn't matter. We're through. We don't have anything to worry about. We're through, we had the points. I just wish I could have saved this entire crowd from a goddamn rhinestone cowboy victory. Well, we led some laps, so we got a bonus point there. They, they had nothing to worry about, absolutely nothing to worry about. Jemai, it's not really that great of a run. Come on, Jemai, what are you doing? I, thank God you got that Kansas win. Thank God you're beautiful, because you don't got too much upstairs. Jeff Gordon Ramsay was leading on that green-white checkered. Coming to the restart, he was leading. He finished in 20th. This might be the end of Kansas, but we'll see. Could also be the end for Old Man Bushy and Vic Zabarub and Blanket. Literally none of them did anything that they were supposed to do. What the hell was I saying about this guy? Do not involve me in your bullshit ever again. 
That was ridiculous. I got you. I'm paying you back, Rogaine Smith. Giggles Logano is ha 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 his way all the way to the unemployment line. And now for the top 10. Outback Stenhouse Jr. is not your name. It's your name. Mikey Walnuts there. 10th solid run. Very nice. Very nice. Tony the Tiger. These two, my God, that was a great collaborative effort. Probably got the 14. Moving on to the round of eight. Who is you? Who the fuck is you? Triple. Who the fuck is you? Remaining in these playoff hunts is myself, Jemai, Jeff Gordon Ramsay, Redneck Jesus, T-Rex Rod, Tony the Tiger, Steve Harvey, and Bushy Bushy Bitch. Nobody moved, right? I don't believe I don't believe a single person moved. Vicks Vapor Rub has been eliminated. Old Man Bush has been eliminated. And he's been eliminated, and where the hell's that 21 car down to 29th? Well, now we can take peeps at what the actual point standings are looking like, because everything gets put back in correct order at the end of each round. There is a good possibility that he winds up in last in points. He's not too far off. I hope it happens with a win. How did this motherfucker win two races this year? Chef Boyard needed it and bounce on up as far as I thought he was going to. Vix Vaporob holds that. He's been so damn. He's been so sneaky good this whole time. I cannot believe he got bounced. Well, I'm still driving the 41 car, apparently. Here is when it's going to start to get juicy. We start selecting our four people next week out. Sort of. You have an opportunity now. If you win, you are going to race for a championship. Go down and write another comment, because I know I asked you to write one already at the beginning of the video who was getting eliminated. Were you right? Edit that one and say if you were right or not. Now write another comment. Who is your final four? Who do you think is going to fight it out for a championship in a few short weeks? I'm perfectly good with this four right here. Bras and braettes, we are all freaking tied up. Everything's knotted. Going into the Ville. Texas Phoenix, there's four of us that are gonna find ourselves at Homestead with a shitty and grin on our face. Who are those four going to be? I have absolutely no idea. Martinsville is typically pretty good for us, but actually, didn't we struggle there? Uh-huh, uh-huh, I remember that. I remember we were not very good, but we won Texas. But Phoenix, we ran like shit. This could be an issue. We might have to put all of our eggs in the Tex ass basket and try to win that one to make sure that we make it through to the next shit because our flat track program at Moose Motorsport is Garbino. We do not run well on the, flat, on the flat tracks in the NASCAR 15. So Martinsville and Phoenix could be a, a serious issue. Oh, damn. Now I'm, it's getting smelly in here because I can shit myself. Well, we will start that up next week, my friends. I'm done for now. I'm going to try not to think about it and get too worried about our flat track program. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I love every single last one of you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for allowing me to, um, honestly, to be able to go on that vacation and to be able to make videos and post some of you guys for when I'm away and you guys still come back and watch and everything. And just thank you for supporting what I do, supporting the channel. And, um, yeah, it's good to be back. I gotta go and down some Ricolas now because my throat is fucked up. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Goodbye!